Good morning, everyone. My name is Mallory, and welcome to Bethel Church, and happy Easter. Even though we're doing church a little bit differently than normal, we are still so excited that we can celebrate together that He is risen today. So even though we are not physically at the church today, we would still love it if you would check in on the Bethel app so that we know you are joining us. And if you are new with us today, first of all, welcome. We are so excited you've joined us. We would love it if you would download the Bethel app and fill out the Connect card. This would allow us to connect with you. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Bethel Church, if you didn't already know, Pastor Barry puts together a worship playlist for us to listen to every single Sunday before or after the service. You can access this in the Bethel app in the Virtual Church Hub or on YouTube. Please make sure to join us in worship every single Sunday. If you are planning on worshiping with tithes and offerings today, you can use our Bethel app or website for online giving or simply mail a check to the church. Hi friends, Jason Eddy here. Stephanie and I and our family wanted to invite you into our home for a few minutes because we miss you so much. We can't wait to see you again soon, we hope. Let's celebrate a few of the things that we're seeing the Lord do through the ministries of Bethel. We're continuing to see great participation in our discipleship groups. Over three quarters of our groups are still meeting via video conferencing. Thank you to each of our leaders who have been working so hard. Over the past three weeks, we've seen 17 new participants in our groups as well. Now, some of these have no church home, so we welcome you and hope you're watching this morning. We also have a huge celebration that last week, a new friend of our discipleship groups prayed to receive salvation. So we celebrate you with you, friend, and hope that you're watching this morning. I also wanted to update you on the participation of our Sunday morning services. We're not able to have a CAD count currently, and some have asked how our attendance has been, but we can see that we have over 350 devices uh, participating with us on a Sunday morning. We don't know how many people are watching on those devices, but even uh, if we were to average one and a half people per each device, our attendance would be well above where it has been on a Sunday morning back in February. So thank you to everyone who's participating. We're so thankful that you have set aside this time to draw near to the Lord with us. I also wanted to give you a financial update. Some of you have asked, how is the church doing financially? And I want to praise the Lord together that our giving for March 2020 is up from a year ago in March 2019. So given all of the changes, we are still seeing the Lord's faithfulness in giving through many of you. So we want to thank you for your participation. Before I go, I want to give you a challenge or something to pray about. We may be receiving a check from the government here in the coming days. And I just want, would ask you to pray with Stephanie and me about how God may bless us to be a blessing. I want to make you aware that we have friends within our church family who have already been laid off and their finances are changing uh, week to week. We also have had uh, people who are struggling in their health and not able to get out to get groceries. So I would just invite you to consider this. If God has blessed you, would you pray about how you could bless someone else? We have a coronavirus fund set up that you can give to to help for needs within our community. We also have a benevolence fund that you can always give to to help with needs within the body. But there's some other opportunities during these days. Uh, maybe you know someone who's been laid off and you just want to quietly see if you could pay their mortgage for a month. Or maybe you want to see if you could cover their utilities. Or maybe you know a friend who is really having a hard time getting groceries and you just want to ask them to give you a grocery list and you could go bless them as well. So friends, the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. And we at Bethel are praying that God will bless us in ways that we can bless our community and share the love of Christ with others. Thanks for joining us today. God bless you. Well, hey there. Good morning, Bethel. Happy Easter. He is risen. Just wanted to bring you one reminder announcement this morning about the Gifts Men's Homeless Shelter coming up April 26th, the week of April 26th. We are once again responsible for uh, providing meals for them, hot meals in the evening, and food items that they'll use for their breakfasts and lunches throughout the week. The Gifts Homeless Shelter is not accepting volunteers into the building right now, and so they're just asking for people who would be willing to bring a hot meal on an assigned day of the week, and then for us to provide food that the men will use there just to make their own breakfasts and lunches. Thank you to those of you who have already signed up and volunteered in some way, but we still have additional needs. So if you're able to head to uh, the Bethel app and find the form, it's called Men's Shelter Food Sign Up, 
and sign up there either to provide the meal or to provide some food that would be much appreciated if you're signing up to provide food Susan Jacobson has graciously agreed to collect all the food items and take it to the homeless shelter a few days before April 26th and so you can contact her with any questions you might have about that and then we have some specific instructions about how to do the meals if you sign up for one of the meals so you can contact Susan you can contact myself for more information about that but let's continue to support the gifts men's homeless shelter as we can even during this time and in the with the coronavirus and if you have any questions about this please don't hesitate to contact me happy Easter everybody good morning Bethel and happy Easter we have so many amazing tools that we can use to stay connected during times like this uh, and Bethel has been using a lot of the social media tools that are available to help us stay connected as a church I want to let you know about a few of the ones that uh, are out there and that we've been using so that you can stay connected with us and know what's happening. Uh, the main tools are Bethel app. And so if you don't have that, I encourage you to download that app to your device. And there's a section there called Virtual Church that you can go to to uh, have all the tools you need for our Sunday morning worship experience. You can watch the services live there. You can check in, you can give online, uh, everything you need uh, to be part of the service there. Plus the app has a bunch of other areas that you can go to to explore what's happening at Bethel. Bethel's also on Facebook, so if you are a part of that, you can uh, go to our Bethel Church Janesville page and like that. Uh, you can watch our services there and uh, also see other videos that uh, some of the pastors do live during the week that you can only see on Facebook. Uh, also, did you know Bethel has its own YouTube channel? So if you go to YouTube and just look for Bethel Church Janesville, that's the first place that you can see all of our videos that we post throughout the week. And then finally, our church website. Uh, BethelJanesville.org is the central hub for all the information of what's happening and linked with links to all these other uh, avenues and tools that I mentioned. So those are the four main ways that we try to stay connected. Also, we want to make sure we have all of your uh, updated information for your family so we can communicate with you during this time. So if you want to go to the Bethel app and look in the forms section for a form called Household Information Form and fill that out with all of your family's information that'll help us to stay connected with you. So thank you, Bethel, for trying to stay connected, make an effort, and we hope that you do feel like you're still part of the Bethel family through these tools that we have to use. Have a great day. And those are all the announcements for today, Bethel. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly do appreciate each and every one of you. We believe that God has something to say specifically to you in today's message, and it's our prayer that you leave encouraged and closer to God than ever before. God bless and happy Easter.